Right here is my MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip and right here I have my iPad Pro with the M1 chip. And now that all Macs have the M4 chips, I have been wondering if I should upgrade any of these ones. And in this video, I'm going to answer my own question and maybe help you out if you're wondering to upgrade or get one of these ones, maybe help you out to figure out whether you should upgrade or not. And I gotta tell you right now that I will be upgrading one of these ones. So let's start to talk about the iPad Pro with the M1 chip. So let's talk about it. Transition, now. It's just me recording, I don't know who I'm talking to. So let's talk about the easy decision, whether you should upgrade to the new M4 iPad Pros. Uh, this one is actually my own iPad Pro, and I got it a long time ago. It's the iPad Pro with the M1 chip, and this is a very easy decision to make. But before that, let's look at some benchmarks, some tech specs, and the price, just to see the difference and maybe make your decision a lot easier. So we have the iPad Pro 11 inch with the N4 chip. Obviously it's gonna be a faster, better chip than the one I have, which is the Apple M1 chip. Right here, you can see that. So if you go up, just to recap, it is going to be a better chip on a single score. Now let's check out the multi-core single score, I said single score, <laughs> multi-core is right here and right here. So obviously the chip is better and faster, obviously. Now let's compare the models, which is right there, the M4 chip and the M1. Let's put the iPad mini there. Anyways, here are the chips, which is the main difference. As you can see, there's more cores. Now, do you need them? We'll talk about that later. Look at this. That one has an extra camera, but not that one. So it's, we have now a landscape mode camera instead of the one on the corner. I gotta say that actually bugs me, but as you can see, not much difference besides those two. Obviously the M4 is thinner. It's gonna be lighter. But yeah, I mean, if you think about it, I don't see so much difference, but it's up to you, you know. Uh, what do you guys think? Yes, the chip will be better and faster, but it's an iPad. So let's talk about if you really need the upgrade. All right, so looking at the tech specs, you probably are wondering that, should I upgrade? And maybe looking at those specs, you are saying, yes, I should upgrade, but I gotta tell you, you do not need to upgrade. Or even if you're looking to buy a new iPad, you shouldn't buy the M4 because the differences are not that big. I gotta tell you right now that I'm not going to upgrade. I love this iPad. And let's just start with price. If you're gonna get a brand new one right now, it's about $900. This one, a wonderful iPad with the M1 chip, Apple intelligence, and so, so, so. You could get it for like $600 on Amazon and the holidays are coming, so maybe you could even get a better price. But yeah, definitely, I will say you don't need to upgrade. So let's talk about what do you do on an iPad. So what do I do now on this iPad? I just watch videos, and I actually use it as a secondary ma uh, monitor for my camera right there. Uh, when I got this iPad a couple years ago, I was using it a lot. I actually got this iPad to go along with my main computer, and it was wonderful. I was using it for work, work emails, personal emails, Slack, Zoom, I was also using it for social media, a lot of social media, a little bit of content creation, and I was using it, of course, for entertainment, video games, you know, movies and stuff like that. Nowadays, I really just use it for entertainment and, you know, a second monitor. So what are you going to be doing with this iPad that you're trying to either upgrade or get? Most likely, you're going to be doing the same, just lights work, entertainment, maybe, you know, 
playing some video games, watching Netflix and Hulu. So I don't think you should either upgrade or get the brand new one. Again, you could get a used one for like $600. Uh, if you're going to buy the new one, it's going to be like a thousand dollars and more. So now let's talk about who probably should buy the M4. Uh, I mean, if you're about to shoot the new video for Bad Bunny and you have a big budget and you're going to be using all your brand new iPhone Pro Maxes to shoot the video and you need to like edit immediately and everything, yeah buy the new iPad with the M4 chip and you know use it how it's supposed to be used but unless you're a big time producer or you know like that I would recommend for you just to buy a used one this iPads with the M1 chips are amazing or even the M2 chip are amazing um, yes the big difference are like the camera and stuff like that but do you really need that stuff I mean am I going to you know, get a brand new one? No. Again, if you are doing a lot of coding, uh, if you're doing a lot of stuff with Final Cut Pro on your iPad, I would just recommend for you to get a MacBook Pro. I mean, this MacBook Pro that I got with the M1 Pro chip, it's an amazing machine. And as you can see, I customized it a little bit, but if you have an iPad Pro and you want to, you know, upgrade to the M4 because you do a lot of Final Cut edits and a lot of heavy stuff like coding and stuff like that, just get the 14 inch, you know, better price. By the way, this one, the M1 uh, Pro chip, you know, I've seen it for like a thousand dollars. So imagine you get a MacBook Pro that does a lot of stuff and only for like a thousand dollars. So I would recommend for you to just get a MacBook Pro. And since we're talking about this, let's talk about it. Transition. Yes, I love stickers. I do work for USC doing highlights. I used to work at TuneIn and this used to be one of the things I used to do. And yes, I don't recommend you putting a lot of stickers on your MacBook Pro unless you're gonna keep it forever. But let's talk about this amazing machine, which is the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. It has been with me for a couple of years and it's wonderful. It does amazing things. I could carry it everywhere. And am I going to be, you know, upgrading? That's the interesting situation. But before I tell you uh, what I use this for and should I upgrade, let's look at some benchmarks, uh, the prices, tech specs and everything. So let's check them out. So we got the M4 Pro right here. That one is mine. And the air all the way to the right. Let's check them out. The chip will be the biggest difference. As you can see right there, all of them will have Apple intelligence. So that's a good thing. Well, here is the main difference, right? I mean, it is a better, faster, in everything kind of chip compared to the one I have. So I think it would be a good investment to upgrade. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let's talk about it in a little bit. And as you can see, there's more RAM nowadays. They give you more RAMs, which is a good thing as well. Uh, it's basically the same exterior, all the same ports. The biggest difference is the camera. Now we have a 12 megapixel camera. It has center stage and desk view. So that's the biggest difference when it comes to the camera. But I think the chip and the, you know, hardware that it comes inside the Mac will be the biggest difference. And I think it will be a good investment if you upgrade. But before we talk about that, let's look at some Geekbench benchmarks. And here you go. As you could tell, some of them are pretty big difference. I mean, think about it. Look at this. It's a pretty big difference. So if you compare both of them, the one on the left is the one I have, which is the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. And the one to your right will be the M4 Pro chip. So after seeing all that, why don't we go back to the video and talk about it? All right, so this one is more tricky because, 
you know, do I need to like upgrade at the moment? No, but you know, I use this wonderful MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip for a lot of stuff. Uh, luckily, I have a better job now. I have different jobs. And let me just say, I put this machine to the limit. I push it to the limit. I do a lot of stuff. I actually needed to write down all the apps and things that I use so I could tell you guys. I actually, so I, this machine, I use Premiere Pro, Encoder, Audio Hijack, Audacity, Final Cut Pro, uh, Logic. I download and I upload huge files to um, uh, AWS, to Google Cloud. I put this machine to the test all the time. And let's just say that there's been times where the machine is just, it needs a lot of air. I have heard the fan work super hard on this machine. Is it still working well? It does. And there's been times that I'm, it gets super hot. And that's when I know it's time to upgrade. So if you are wondering whether you're upgrading or should you upgrade from the M1 to the M4, I think you should. It's a good investment because that one has a better chip, it's faster, has a better camera. I mean, the, the everything, it looks the same. It has the same ports and stuff like that. The camera is better, of course. Uh, it does center stage, you know, it's 12 megapixels. It does front desk or whatever that thing is called. I think the camera is better, but the software, the, the chip is way better and it's going to last you for a long, long time. And the good thing about upgrading right now is that you could still have, you could still sell your M1 uh, Mac MacBook Pro for a good price. So you could sell the M1 MacBook Pro for like a thousand dollars and that's half of what the M4 will be, you know, costing you. And that's actually what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be selling this MacBook Pro, um, uh, with the M1 chip Pro to whoever wants it, uh, or maybe just keep it for my son because in a couple of years he's going to need a good, uh, computer. But I could sell this one right now for about a thousand or a thousand three hundred and that would be half of the cost of the new Mac. And I will be upgrading because I, as you guys heard, I put this computer to the test and I do a lot of encoding. I use Final Cut Pro, Premiere. There's been times that this machine is just like the fan is running super hot. So am I going to be upgrading? Yes. Should you upgrade? Now, if you have like a M3 MacBook Pro, I don't think you should upgrade. Wait until they change something drastically next year. Uh, if you have a M2, think about it, but definitely upgrade if you have an M1. It will be a good upgrade, a good investment if you have the M1 Pro chips or just the M1, the MacBook Pros. I think it's worth the upgrade. So, you know, just to recap, are, am I going to upgrade from the iPad Pro M1, no. But you should definitely think about upgrading if you have a MacBook Pro with the M1 chip because it will be a good investment, especially if you run a lot of stuff like I do. It would be a good investment for the future. And you could also, you know, resell the M1 Pro, uh, MacBook Pros that you have for a good price at the moment. So that's my recommendation. I hope it helped you a little bit. Am I going to be upgrading the iPad? No. Am I going to be upgrading the MacBook Pro? Yes, I am. And you know, that's a simple decision because I don't need a new iPad, but I do will need a new uh, MacBook Pro in the future and it's a great time to, you know, actually upgrade. And the base model for the M1, uh, the M4 Pro, it's about $2,000 and I don't need that much RAM. Uh, the 32 that come, I think it's 32 or 24, the 24 that comes with it, it's really a good deal. So I will be upgrading. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, always. Thank you very much for watching. I'm just a small YouTuber trying to grow this channel. So I would love if you guys hit the subscribe and like and share it. Until next time, I gotta say goodbye. And yes, I'll take the stickers out and maybe sell it. But there you go. Thanks for watching.